Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me for today's video. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about a new brand, new to me, not necessarily new to everyone else, but it is new to me. And I was in TJ Maxx the other day, I think it was yesterday, and when you guys see this, that was Monday. So I found a palette from Rude Cosmetics in TJ Maxx, and I've wanted to try this brand for a long time. This is the palette. Yes, it's a big palette. It is the Flower Love Gardener palette. It's a 35 color palette. This is the same size as a Morphe palette, literally. I mean, you've seen Morphe palettes before. It might be a tad smaller. The pants might be a little bit smaller. I don't know. But when I saw this, I didn't see it right away. I saw another Rude Cosmetics palette and I opened it and it was pretty, but it reminded me of my Bon Voyage palette. And I was like, oh, I really want to try this brand. But then I looked over and this one was kind of hidden be behind some other palettes. If this could be hidden, it was. Um, and I knew it was different because the colors were different around the border. This is gorgeous, okay? So this is the palette I'm wearing in my eyes. I'm gonna get into this look in just a second. But this is what the palette looks like. This is what the palette looks like. It is large, I get it. I am gonna develop some large palette storage because I have a really strong suspicion that I'm probably going to wanna try some other palettes from Rude Cosmetics if that's any indication to how I uh, feel about um, this so far. So obviously I'm gonna be doing a get ready, me, get ready with me first impressions, telling you guys what I thought of this palette. But um, I don't know about you, but I love the color story. It's kind of random, similar to um, the uh, randomness of the So Jaded palette. But you got a lot of different tones in here. And so I was really excited to play with this. So when I picked this up, I was super excited. So just a little bit about this, I uh, you know, in terms of the price. I paid $12.99 for this. But if you go on the Rude Cosmetics website, and I'm gonna link their website down below. They have a ton of eyeshadow palettes. Palettes this size, retail for $14 on their website. So it's an affordable brand. So this was this was probably when it was being sold at Ruth Cosmetics. It's not available on their website anymore, unfortunately. But palettes that are this size run for $14. So I only spent $12.99 for this. So I thought I was getting a really good deal. And to be honest with you, that's about my sweet point, sweet spot for palettes. I like to spend $20 or less on palettes. So if I can spend $20 or less on a palette and um, it was new at TJ Maxx, brand new, hadn't been swashed or anything, I was like all about it. So let's get into the look that I created with this palette and then I will tell you guys what my thoughts are at the end of this video. Okay, you guys, so we're gonna do a tutorial today or a get ready with me first impressions on this Rude Cosmetics palette. This is the Flower Love Gardener palette. It is 35 shades, I know that is large. Uh, basically, it's the size of a Morphe palette, which typically for me, I don't go for palettes this size, but I couldn't resist it. It was uh, $12.99, and I love the color story. I opened it up, and I really thought it was beautiful. They had a couple of Rude Cosmetics palettes at TJ Maxx, uh, and I'd never seen Rude Cosmetics at TJ Maxx, but here's the color story. Obviously, it's a huge palette. If I like the color story, I can get on board. So this is um, the color story. Pretty mauve-y, bare, you know, mauve tones. Um, some grungier tones in here. This, unfortunately, is a shimmery black. It's it's probably one of those um, mattes with shimmer in it, but I swatched it on my hand, and it's got a sheen, so it's more of a satin black. Um, you've got three pressed glitters in here, which I'm not a fan of, but I'm not going to swatch this palette. I'm going to just do the tutorial on my first impressions. Liz, I've wanted to try Rude Cosmetics for a long time and I just never bit the bullet. Um, and they're an affordable brand. They're an affordable brand. So, like I said, I spent $12.99 on this, but I went to their website and looked at palettes that were the similar size and really they retail for $14. So you can't beat the price, but let's check out the quality. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit and we are gonna get started. So I've kind of already decided what I wanna do today. So I did the rest of my makeup today, which I don't typically do when I, when I do these kinds of videos. I always do my eyes first and then everything else after, but I thought I'd be brave, I thought I'd be daring, and I thought I would do it this way. And this will be a good indication of fallout because um, sometimes I just wipe it away um, before I start the rest of my face makeup, but I do use an eyeshadow primer. So I have everything on. I don't ever really list my makeup details, and the reason why is because a lot of the products that I use are either discontinued or have been reformulated. But if you guys wanna know, 
I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you right now I use the elf bronzer palette um, this is my makeup this is my get ready with me uh, <laughs> mirror that I use I use this shade right here you can see I've got pan in this shade this is probably one of my favorite bronzers of all time this shade down here these shades aren't named I don't really use this shade but I probably could uh, you know if I just wanted an easy makeup look and it's kind of got a sheen to it love this reddish bronzer but I used this shade today on my cheeks I used the LA color uh, rad rouge blush and the shade bodacious I love these little blushes um, they're really really good the packaging is terrible it's like um, that um, physicians formula butter bronzer where the little thing lifts up and you got like a janky brush underneath don't ever do that but um, these are good um, they're cheap they're like three dollars each love them I got a bunch of shades way back in the day when I did five dollar Friday so that's that on my uh, highlight today now this is a Becca highlight this is Becca Rose Quartz but I felt like I had to spray it to get the kind of intensity that I wanted but that's what that looks like it's rose quartz it's a pinky highlight I've kept all these Becca highlights but these this little one I don't know this one and the vanilla quartz and the prismatic amethyst I feel like I have to spray my brush with these but I love this this is I don't think obviously not available anymore because Becca has gone the way of the dodo and then my lip combo is a Milani lipstick and matte naked I don't even know if they make this shade anymore uh, I know that their formula has changed I don't even know if they do this formula anymore but I love these matte lipsticks they've been one of my favorites for a long time and I have a few of them in my collection so this is matte naked that's what I'm wearing on my lips and then I um, lined my lips with this Rimmel um, pencil and rose quartz I love these pencils from Rimmel do not know if they still make these but I know they still make the NYX butter gloss and I use it in creme brulee I've been becoming a gloss person. I never thought that would happen, but that's what we are wearing on the face. So I know what direction I'm gonna go in. Now you could probably look at this palette and um, based on the rest of my makeup, see that I probably wanna go in a mauve direction, but I'm not. I am going to go in a completely different direction. I just, hopefully it looks good with the rest of my makeup. That's another thing. I like to pair the rest of my makeup based on what I do on my eyes but I am going in a specific direction today, so I hope it works out. We shall see. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, and I'm just gonna show you guys one eye, and then I'm gonna do the other eye, um, not off camera, but I'm just going to walk you through one um, eye application so you guys can get the gist. So I've talked enough about this, like I said, I'm not swatching it, but I, I'm really excited to try this. I've been wanting to try this brand for a million years, and I just, I'm so excited they're at TJ Maxx. I have not found much BH Cosmetics anymore. I think that they, you know, they are not in trouble, but I'm not interested in anything that they released recently. So I'm probably not gonna see that at TJ Maxx. I might pick it up if it comes there, but I'm glad to find some new brands. I almost bought some Cara Beauty palettes. Guys, I, they have, Cara Beauty has a ton of palettes at um, TJ Maxx. I have three palettes now from Cara Beauty and I'm planning to get more palettes from Cara Beauty. When I do, I will do like a full like roundup and maybe ranking of those palettes, but I have three of them now. Unfortunately, those palettes have a lot of pressed glitters in them, so I'm not as apt to buy them, but these has three pressed glitters, but it's only three out of 35 shades. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. Okay, I figured it out. I lowered my seat and raised my camera just a little bit. So we'll see how this goes when I do my intro and outro for this video. But this is what we're going with today. So I've zoomed you guys in. I have my handy dandy elf mirror. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with, guess what we're gonna start with? Guys, if you didn't know me, you don't, you're gonna know me now. I'm gonna start with the blue, the dark, dark navy blue. And it looks to be a dark, like dark, murky blue. I think it's blue oh it's kind of a green it's more of a teal do I want to go in that direction yes I do yes yes I do so it is more of a I swatched it out it's more of a greenish like tealy shade but that's what I'm gonna do today I don't know I'm just I'm gonna feel brave it's not gonna go with this look I don't care but that's what we're gonna do okay so I've got my clever collection flat brush and that's the brush I like to use to pack on the shadows from my in my outer corner now I use the Milani eyeshadow primer and I don't set it so I'm gonna pack up the brush with that tealy blue shade I'm hoping this shows up more blue and you know when I blend it out I don't know 
So what I do typically, I start with the deepest corner in my eyes and I blend it out with another shade. Now the shade that I'm going to blend it out with is going to change because this look didn't, when I looked at this, when I looked at the shade in the pan before I swatched it, it appeared to be more navy, but it's actually more teal, so it's a deep teal. So we're going to go in a little bit of a different direction. I'm not mad about it. It's okay. I can work with it. I might change my lip color. <laughs> we'll see. But that is the shade that I'm doing on the outer corner. So I'm just going to do the other eye real quick. And then we're going to blend this out with another shade. And I have to figure out what that shade is going to be because this is not going the way I planned. But look at the pigmentation so far. That's just me putting it on before I blend it. So it is very pigmented, as you can see. Very pigmented. I, I kind of take it above my crease a little bit. And I always make kind of a V shape. That's how I do my outer corner. So let me just put the shadow on my other eye and then we'll move on to our next color. Okay, so I've put that shade on now. Guys, I haven't noticed any fallout yet. Do you see any? I sure don't. I don't see any. But then again, I don't have my glasses on. I mean, I can't wear my glasses when I wear my makeup, but I have, don't have my magnifying mirror either, but I don't see any fallout. I do not see any fallout. So now what are we going to do? We are going to go into, ironically, this green right here, which is right below it. Because this is a teal shade, I really, this, this look is going in a different direction than I planned. I have a pink lip on and a mauve lip. Um, pink cheek and a mauve lip, I don't know how that's going to go. But then again, you don't have to match everything. If you did, it'd be boring. So we're going to take this shade right here, the one below that tealy shade. I really thought that was a navy blue. It's okay. So the brush that I'm going to use for this is a um, Luxie brush. It's like just a pointed... Um, crease brush that's really really dense and kind of skinny so I'm gonna take that shade uh, on that kind of snotty green color <laughs> really it is kind of a snotty green color okay and I'm going to tap that and um, I'm gonna run that over the edge of that teal shade just on the outer portion and taking it slightly into the middle of the crease okay so far as I blend it, you can really see that teal, how it's really blending out. So far, so good. Um, looks a wee bit patchy, but remember, I'm blending over another shade. So it's going to look, until I get it blended out fully, it's going to look a little bit like wonky potentially, but I don't think it looks bad. Sometimes I'm not the best judge of character. You guys have to kind of tell me because I am... My eyesight is getting worse. <laughs> I need to get contacts. I'm just terrible about going to doctor's appointments. But listen, I really like that so far. It is getting a little patchy right out here, but that just, I can just reapply some of that shade. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll take like a skinnier um, blending brush and I'll just, duh, I'll, or I'll take that my flat brush, pack it on, and then blend it out a little bit with another clean brush just to kind of diffuse that edge. But I like that booger green color. It looks really good. So let me just do that on the other eye, and then I'll probably add a little bit more teal. Okay, I'm just going to add a little more teal on this side. They look pretty even. I, I don't find that it looks bad, but... This is the, one of the reasons why I do my eyeshadow first is because I really like to clean up that edge with concealer, but you know what? It's going to be okay. If I have to add a little bit of concealer over it to clean up that edge, I will, but so far it doesn't look too bad. I really like the pigmentation of these. I think that so far so good. You know, as I'm adding that, just it, you can see that it's, it's, it's adding back nicely. A um, little more of the booger shade. These aren't named, thank God. To be honest with you, I hate eyeshadow names because I can never read them. So I just say, this is the shade I'm using. <laughs> so I like that. I think that looks decent. Okay, so I'm going to wipe off this brush. I'm just going to kind of swirl it around. I need one of those color switch things. I really, really do. Um, I'm just going to kind of brush that off, get it a little bit clean. 
Okay, we're gonna do, we're gonna get a little bit crazy up in here and we're gonna use another matte shade. I'm going to use this um, matte kind of mustardy orangey shade right up here. I don't know how that's gonna go, but I'm gonna put that in the inner portion of my crease and I'm gonna blend it into that green. Um, we'll see, it's kind of a mac and cheese shade, which I really, really like those shades. Um, I don't know if you guys watch Katie Marie, but Katie inspires me to just really think outside of the box when in terms of colors, and sometimes she blends colors together or just finds a way to make it a good gradient, and so I'm gonna try something like that today. So we're just gonna point that, put that in this inner portion of the crease, right here, and kind of dust it through to that, that green shade. I think I like that. That looks pretty good. I like that, that looks pretty good. I really like this Lexi brush. I like having the really um, precise brushes. I find that I need that precision and I can always blend it out with a clean brush, but I have really um, small lid, lid space. So I just kind of like want that nice and saturated. So that's what I'm working with. Guys, I think that looks pretty decent, to be honest with you. I would not have thought that that would work. And you see that I have a little bit of that teal that kind of blended through the crease, which I kind of like. It looks good. So we got a murky look going on today with a mauve lip and a pink cheek. I don't know how that happened, but that's okay. Um, so let me just do the other eye, and we will try to figure out what lid shades we're going to do. This should be interesting. So, yeah. All right, let's do the other eye. Just kind of diffusing that into the center a little bit. I'm not sure what we're going to do yet. And what I'm going to do is I am actually going to take this tiny skinny Clover Collection blending brush and I'm just going to dip it ever so slightly into that teal. And I am going to kind of run that a little bit further into the crease, to the middle, just a little bit, just to really get that color into the crease a little bit more. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that same brush, dip it into that teal again, and really just kind of sharpen up that teal, because it's a very precise little blending brush. I'm just going to sharpen up that teal and, and maybe soften it a little bit on the lid. So that is our crease colors and our outer corner shade. So I'm going to add some NYX Glitter Primer and um, let that get tacky for a second, and then we're going to pick lid shades. Alrighty then, so the shimmer options in this palette are pretty limited. I'm really disappointed in the fact that these three shades that are pressed glitters are pressed glitters because they all would have been beautiful shimmers if they would have made them shimmers. So this is a pretty matte heavy palette. It's pretty matte heavy, which I'm not mad about because I always appreciate more mattes and palettes than shimmers, but I'm going to now see how the shimmers work. Now, so the lid shade that I'm using on the center of my lid, I swatched it and it is more of a satin, which is fine. And it is a deep contrast, or it's a big contrast from the green that I have in the outer corner. But you know what, I'm going for it today. Pray that this looks good, but I do not care. I'm just going to have fun, and if I don't like it, I can wash it off. So I'm gonna use, oh, I'm gonna turn it on this side. I'm gonna use this pink, pinky shade. It does have a sheen to it. It doesn't have a lot of sparkle or um, gl glitter, and not glitter. It isn't metallic, but I'm going to use this anyway. And it's gonna just, we're just gonna roll with it. So I'm gonna use that, my Clover Collection flat brush. It's the little lid brush that I like to use. I'm gonna like layer some of that pink on it. And um, that's very bright. And then I'm gonna spray it with some water. And I, yeah, just water guys. I, I, I'm too cheap to buy um, a setting spray. Cause I don't really use them. So we're gonna spray mm -hmm. that. Handy dandy elf mirror. Okay, pray. Everybody pray. Silent prayer, okay. Okay, well this is definitely more of a satin shade. It's not matte, it's more of a satin. Uh, okay, that, that was probably a mistake. But you know what? I can't be bothered with it trying to 
do something different now because I've already gone down that road. Okay. I definitely need to build this up, but this is, like I said, it's not really a shimmer. It is a shimmer, but it's more of a satin shimmer. Not a lot of me metallic to it. And I'm just kind of tapping it over that teal a little bit. Obviously these colors don't go together. Adding some extra, I didn't spray it this time. And pretty much leaving that tiny little center portion of my lid or that little inner portion of my lid blank because I'm going to put another shade over this one. Like I'm not mad at this. It's It looks okay. It looks okay. So there's that. Now I will do the other eye, um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the inner portion of my lid. So I am going to take this yellowy shade right here. It's kind of a yellowy green, this one. This look is interesting, I will say that. Flip that brush over to the other side, the clean side, and load that up. This also doesn't appear to be super metallic. So these, these shimmers are not ultra metallic. They're pigmented, but they're not ultra metallic or the kind of shimmers that I really like. But that's a preference thing. The performance is okay. So let's put that over. Now I like this shade better than the pink. I will say that. This one is smoother, definitely more shimmery than the pink. But I like the pink too. I think this looks pretty. This one went on much more effortlessly than the pink, but the, the pink really went on that sticky side. So flip, flip that back over to the pink. Tap the pink back over so I don't lose it. And then flip that over to the yellow. So that's what we have on the lid. Let me just do the other eye. And I'll probably just do... Um, yeah, I gotta do the lower lash line too. So let's do the lower lash line real quick. I get my little lower lash line brush that I like to use. Is that it? I think that it is. Yeah, it's this um, angled little pencil brush that I like to use from uh, Luxie Beauty. And I think what I'm going to do is I am going to probably just extend that teal and maybe add a little bit of pink on the inner portion of my eye. And um, We'll see about an inner corner shade. So let's just grab them teal. It's a little angled brush. It's perfect because I just take that tip and I run it along the edge of my lower lash line. So we're going to start there. Connect it up to the outer portion, starting from there. Just to the middle of my lower lash line and maybe just kind of sharpen up that edge with that hip pointed brush. Sharpen up the edge of that with that shade since, you're, since we're using it. We just sharpen up that edge. And so now I'm gonna do the other eye and then put on liner and mascara. And then we will end this video and I will give you my final thoughts. Okay, so ta-da, there you go. Um, this is what the eye look looks like without liner and mascara. And then you'll see everything completed once I get all of that done. So I hope you guys like this look. And I'll let you know my final thoughts at the end. Okay. Okay, you guys saw the look that I created. That was the get ready with me with the Flower Love Gardener Palette from Rude Cosmetics. So basically, overall, I really do think this is worth your money in terms of its cost. I mean, the cost, you're, it's if for a 14 what would be a $14 eyeshadow palette or $12.99, depending on how you look at it. It's really not that much of a price difference. The quality is pretty decent. There really, really is. I will say that I love the mattes way more than I love the shimmers. Unfortunately, this has three pressed glitters in it. I said it during the um, Get Ready With Me portion. If they would have taken those and made those um, shimmers, I would have been so happy, so much happier with this palette. Um, but like I said, I like the mattes more than I like the shimmers. So the shimmers really are more of a 
more of a smooth kind of like satiny shimmer. They're not ultra like foiled or metallic, which are the kind of shimmers I prefer. But really, I mean, I have to start embracing shimmers like this, mostly because the the uh, my eyelids are getting more hooded as I get older and those metallic shades really do transfer up into my crease. So I really, really do like this. Um, I just found that they were more um, a, a satiny type of shimmer versus a, you know, like more of a foiled shimmery shimmer, but I'm not mad about it. And I really do like that um, you have a wide selection of mattes in the palette. I do feel like it's a little bit redundant in the pink category, but overall um, you have a lot of different shades that um, you can combine together to, to kind of break up that pink. Um, I, you know, wasn't quite sure how this was gonna go, but I really do feel that um, this palette is pretty decent for the for the for the price. I would not call it like a high end quality, but I would not call it like a cheap, really janky quality. I I, I would say that it's good for the price. And if I want to compare it to anything, like like I would say that this the the mattes they blended really well. And that that being said, I think that they're a lot kind of like ColourPop mattes. Um, maybe ColourPop mattes are a little bit more powdery. These aren't powdery really at all. I, I don't find these to be powdery at all. I did t tap off my brush when I did the uh, blending, but you guys saw that I started with this shade. When I first saw this, I thought it was more of a navy, but it's more of a teal, and you could see that on my eyes. And I actually put this pink in the center, and I, I was really nervous about it when I started, but it actually turned out to be really, really pretty. I found that I liked this shimmer more than the pink that I laid it over. This one seemed to be more metallic and foiled versus this one, which can kind of appear to be more satiny. But really overall, you guys, I have no complaints with this other than the pressed glitters. Uh, wishing that there were a couple more shimmers in this palette. Maybe, um, you know, because you've got this, you, these two are relatively the same. This one's more of a silver. This one's kind of more of a purple um, shimmer. You got this pink in here you know these ones up here so you have shimmers in this palette but I would have appreciated a few more and like take out the pressed glitters but other than that $12.99 guys I really don't think that this is a bad bad bad, bad price for the quality I, I, you know it's it's big so you have to keep that in mind um, 35 shades but some of these I didn't need some of these shades I didn't need but overall I really do enjoy this I think this is a pretty decent so if you want to try out Rude Cosmetics, maybe go to their website and um, check out some of their color stories and see which one appeals to you. I know that I've seen a couple. I actually went, after I bought this palette, I actually went to Rude Cosmetics and looked at their site to check out some of their other color stories, and there are a few in there that I want. And they do have smaller palettes. They do have smaller palettes, but honestly, like, I'm not mad about this one. It is large, but... I've got some large palette storage planned for over here because I, there are some larger palettes that I want and that are on my list and this one just happened to fall into my lap and so I am not mad about it. TJ Maxx is starting to stock different brands and when I, when they, I, I was so excited when I saw this. I really, really was. So um, I also mentioned that there are some more Cara Beauty palettes there um, and I liked the, two, the three that I have so far. So um, maybe I have some new brands at TJ Maxx to, to kind of take the place of BH Cosmetics since I'm not seeing much there anymore. So I will continue to buy affordable makeup. I will continue to bring you guys my thoughts. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. I really, really appreciate it. You guys are awesome and amazing. And um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Borja Purple Hearts, I purple you. Give yourself a hug. Love yourself because... You, you're amazing, awesome, and wonderful. So thank you so much for watching you guys today, and I will catch you in my next video. Ta-ta for now. Bye-bye.